Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. In this video, I will share two really nice logic puzzles. Puzzle one, you have a code that requires a pin of four digits. The pin uses four digits from zero to nine. No two digits are the same. You are given the following clues. One, two, three, four. Two numbers are correct, but in the wrong positions. Three, four, five, six. Three numbers are correct, but in the wrong positions. Five, eight, nine, zero. Nothing is correct. Two, three, zero, four. Two numbers are correct, and one is in the correct position. Six, two, four, one. Two numbers are correct and in the correct positions. Can you solve for the four digit pin? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So let's work out the four digit pin. We know that we have a four digit pin that uses the numbers going from zero to nine exactly once. So a good way to start is just to figure out what are the four correct numbers in the pin. We can then use the clues to figure out the order of the four numbers. So you don't have to approach the clues in the order they're presented. You can approach them in whichever clue reveals the most information. So I think a good starting point is to start out with the clue 5890 that nothing is correct. So we can eliminate all of these numbers as being correct numbers. So we eliminate five as a correct number, eight, nine, and zero. So we'll just cross these numbers out as being numbers in the pin code. So we're left with one, two, three, four, six, and seven. Now let's go to three, four, five, six. We know that five is the wrong number and three numbers are correct. So the other three numbers must be correct. So three, four, and six must be correct numbers in the pin code. So let's just mark three, four, and six. We only need to figure out the fourth number that's correct in the pin code. Now let's go to the clue, two, three, zero, four. We know that three is a correct number and four is a correct number, and we have that two numbers are correct. So the remaining two numbers must be incorrect. So two is an incorrect number and zero is an incorrect number. So we can cross out two as being a number in the pin code. Now let's look at the clue 6241. We know that six is a correct number. We know that four is a correct number and two of the numbers are correct. So two we've already eliminated. So that means the other number one must be incorrect. So we cross out the number one. We need four numbers. We have three, four, six. And the only other option for this fourth number without using a number more than once would be seven. So three, four, and six are correct. Zero, one, two, five, eight, and nine are wrong. No digit is repeated. By the process of elimination, seven must be the last correct number. So we know the correct numbers are three, four, six, and seven. All we have to do is put them in order. So how are we going to do that? So let's go to all of the clues. We have four numbers, three, four, six, and seven. Now we know in the final clue, two of the numbers are correct and in the correct positions. So six and four are the correct numbers. They have to be in the correct positions. So six is the first number and four is the third number. We then go to the clue just before it. We know that two numbers are correct and one is in the correct position. So three and four are correct numbers. We know that four has to be in the third position, so it's not the correct position. So that means three must be the number in the correct position. So three must be the second number, and that leaves one spot for the final number of seven. And therefore, the correct code is six, three, four, seven. And that's the answer. Now let's go to puzzle two. You have a three by three grid. One of each number one to nine is placed in a three by three grid. You are given the following clues. Here we have a three by three grid where the rows are four, five blank, blank three, six, and one blank blank. 
Four numbers are in the correct columns, but incorrect squares. No numbers are in the correct rows. You're given another clue. Blank, blank, three, blank, 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 two, four, blank. Two numbers are in the correct columns, but incorrect squares. One number is in the correct row, but incorrect square. Finally, you are given clue number three, blank, 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 714, 693. No numbers are in the correct columns. Five numbers are in the correct rows, but incorrect squares. Your challenge is to complete the grid. Shout out to the user Mara Frass, who submitted this to Reddit Puzzles. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So in order to explain this puzzle, I want to introduce a little bit of notation. So let's say we have a square with the number one. A number can be in a row and a column. So let's imagine we have a box to indicate whether it's in the correct column and a box to indicate whether it's in the correct row. So there are four possible cases. One case is that the number one could be in the correct column and it could be in the correct row. A number is uniquely defined by its column and row, so this would mean one is in the right square. But there are three other cases to consider. The number one could be in the correct column, but it might be in the incorrect row. It might be in the incorrect column, but it could be in the correct row, or it could be in the incorrect column and the incorrect row. So now let's solve the problem. So let's take a look at the third clue that no numbers are in the correct columns. In particular, the number three will be in the wrong column. So three is not in the third column. Let's now go to clue number two, where three is in the third column. So we know that three is not in the third column. We'll write an X above it. In this clue, two numbers are in the correct columns, but incorrect squares. Since three is in the wrong column, that means the other two numbers, two and four, are in the correct columns. But they're in the incorrect squares, so we know they can't be in this row. So we'll cross out that two and four are in these squares. Now we know that one number is in the correct row, but incorrect square. So since three is in the incorrect column, this has to be the one that's in the correct row. So three is somewhere in the first row. Now let's go back to grid three and look at three, which is in the third row. Since three has to be in the first row, we know that this three is in the incorrect row. So we have six numbers of which one we've already identified is in the wrong row. The other five numbers are in the correct rows, but incorrect squares. So we must have that seven, one, four, six, and nine are in the correct rows. We will then go to the very first clue. We know that four numbers are in the correct columns, but incorrect squares. So take a look at the number four in this clue. We know from the next grid that four has to be in the second column. So in this case, four is in the wrong column. It's not in column one. So since four is in the wrong column, that means the remaining numbers are all in the correct columns. So five, three, six, and one are placed in the correct columns. With these deductions, we can start filling in the grid. Now let's take a look at the number one, which we've deduced is in the first column. We know that it's somewhere here. From the third grid, we figured out that one is in the correct row, so it has to be in the second row. So if one has to be in the first column and second row, we can place it in the correct square, which is in the first column and second row. So we figured out where one goes. Now let's take a look at three. We figured out from the first grid that it's in the second column, and then we figured out from the next grid that it's in the first row. So three has to be in the first row, second column. The number four has to be in the second column 
and it has to be in the second row. So we figured out where four is. Now let's take a look at the number five. We know that it's in the second column. The first two rows are already taken up by three and four, so it has to be in the third row, which is five. Now the number two has to be in the first column, and we already have that it's in the incorrect square. So it can't be in the third row. It can't be in the second row because one is taking that up, so it must be in the first row and first column. The number six has to be in the third column, and we know that it's in the third row. So it has to be in this very last square here. What about the number seven? We know that it's in the second row. The other places in the row are taken up by one and four, so it has to be in the third column, which will be seven. The number nine is in the correct row, which is the third row. The remaining spots are taken up by five and six, so it has to be in the first column. We finally just have one spot, and that must be the remaining digit eight. So that belongs in the first row and the third column. So we figured it out. The first row is two, three, eight. Then we have one, four, seven, and finally nine, five, six. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.